Huh. Oh. Wait, no. Oh. Sorry, that was a weird intro, but I was like, oh, I must have forgotten to save my notes. But no, that those notes were from, like, last time I recorded, so I haven't made any new notes. Huh. Okay. Um, I don't remember what I said I was going to do this part. Um, so, wait, what are we going to do then? So, get that out of the way, the decision. Hmm. If I mark this, will I get exact location? Oh, the Panopticon has one of them. Okay, let's go and do that then. So we have two left to grab. In containment, both in containment, but one in Panopticon and one in sealed threshold. Why didn't I just go in here in the first place? Can I even get over there from here? Or do I need to go through the center? I don't think I need to go through the center, because isn't this how I originally got there? Oh wait, this is where I just, where I like ended the thing. The mold's gotten in here too? Alright. Oh. Right. oh. She said, cocking her gun. Close call after close call after close call. It's kind of ridiculous. Like, why do I keep getting like these fucking? Jesus Christ! Why am I getting? Sorry, this is like a mess. Why didn't I just use the fucking fast travel? Sorry. <laughs> what is it? Like, okay, what am I even doing? I could have just, I was on the... Oh, this is why. This is why I didn't do that, because I can do this. Wait, isn't there more doors here? Oh, here are some... Like, isn't there some... Oh no, this is the center, okay. 
where I just was actually. I'm candidate. Oh wait, this is um, this is main mission. Okay. So this is like the way to go. Should I just do that then? Fuck it. It's been a few parts I think since we did main story anyway. So let's go. Let's do that. <laughs> Might as well. Mm. Um, hello? <laughs> it's staring contest. Uh, mirror supplement. Ah, okay. The mirror I went through. Uh, Victorian mirror, AI-60, UE, acquisition date. July 15th, 2005, Container Location, Synchronicity Lab, Research Sector. Um, background, redacted. She was admitted to a mental ward for emotional instability soon after relocating to Illinois with her family in 1914. The item only appears on record again in 2006 when the Bureau investigated a sudden rise in disappearances in redacted Illinois. Agents found the item hanging in the local library. They contained it quickly though the missing people of the town were never recovered. Oof, that sucks. Uh, supplementary materials, date August 18th, 1915. We certify that the case of Mrs. Redacted has shown her to be a lunatic under the reasons of hysteria, bad company, and imaginary female trouble. Right. <laughs> her fixation with the family Family looking glass is noteworthy, though not an uncommon matter when considering the female disposition. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, Mrs. Carver is a fit subject for the lunatic asylum and will remain in its confines until her affliction has passed. Signed it, Dr. Redacted. I don't think you should call yourself a doctor. Um, I'll say I know, I know about hysteria, but I've, I've never heard of, like, bad company? What? Okay, um, I want to look it up just to see what that is. <laughs> yeah, with bad company, nothing comes up, obviously, because it's like such a normal, like, just a term. But, hmm, diagnosis, imaginary female trouble. Like, is that an actual? That just get, gets up, female has hysteria. <laughs> I guess it's just... Part of the same thing. Well, I mean, here's like a reason for admission thing from 1864 to 1889, and it has um, imaginary female trouble on it. Fuck. And just women trouble. Superstition. Female disease. I can't, I don't even want to. <laughs> but yeah. Interesting. Prime candidate program. Mm -mm -mm. Transit corridor, uh, security panopticon over here. To find new oh. candidates. Been a while. The bureau needs a director. Our future. P six and P seven. P six and P seven is what? What's P seven? That's not Jesse, right? Maybe it is. Um. After North Moore stepped down, I doubled every effort to find new prime candidates. There was no one. No one but me. 
that wasn't good enough. I pushed hard. I never wanted the Bureau to end up in that situation again. The Bureau needs a director. Always. When my time reaches an end, I want more options on the table. P1 through P5 were all false leads, dead ends and disappointments. Then, P6. Dylan Faden. He fell into our arms. No parents. They're gone. Casualties of an AWE. The boy has exceptional talent. The oldest house will be his home. We'll build him from the ground up. Dude, He'll be trained you. and taken care of. Darling can be in charge of this project. You all suck. I can't. I'll stay away. I will not fail the boy like I failed my own I mean, You family. failed the boy by doing this my to him in the first place. <laughs> we weren't careful enough back then. Something came home with me. I took work home. My Susanna got sick. Susanna. When I realized my mistake, I wanted to bring her here for Darling to do what he could. Kate flat out refused. Civilian doctors treated our daughter, but they didn't have a clue. She died. Kate left me. Same old story. That was a long time ago. The Bureau is all I have now. And the prime candidates are our future. There are two. P6 and P7. So Jesse must be P7 We're then. spoiled for choice. I'm guessing. But of course he didn't talk about P7. He just mentioned P7 at the very end. Like the annoying asshole he is. Hmm. Hmm. Oh god, okay. It's <laughs> in. Have I been dealing with over level like too high level enemies because these are so easy to kill i think i have i think i've been like moving through the main story so too slow way too slow definitely like look, look how easy this is It's really easy. <laughs> yeah, I think that must be the problem then. I'm moving through the main story too slow. I can fix that. Pretty easily. I'm moving through it too fast. Ooh. Hey, uh, oh, P6. Mm -hmm. So it's that. So we're gonna go where um, Dylan was held, I'm guessing. Well, no. We went there already, right? Or was that not like the main place uh, that I was being held? 
that little cage. God. I like don't wanna go to the twisting stuff yet. I, like wanna go downstairs first and check there. Anything up top? bad launch efficiency. not fun to look at right now. Should put on the blast radius though, I think. P seven. Closed cases? Is that shortcut? Yeah, yeah, good. Uh. Right. What's there? Somewhere I didn't go yet. But yeah, obviously down the twisting, twisting hallways and stuff. Let's see. I'm scared. I'm so scared. I hate this. Oh god. Okay. It sucks because it's like twisty and then also on top of that. Oh god, this is like it's gonna make me throw up <laughs> Like ooh, like actually I hate this. Oh my god. I need to like put like oh god Like a warning on this video or something because what the fuck like beyond the just regular like Warning from that I always put at the start from the game um, I feel like I need to put an actual ooh, Warning for this because this is like Bad. <laughs> the time to go up the stairs and do some more of that. Okay, I'll make sure there's nothing. Oh. 
Wait, what's this? Oh. Rife Falls Supplement. Okay, okay. Um, the AWE 35. Uh, event date. Uh, September 1st, 2010 to September 14th, 2010. Event location, Bright Falls, Washington. Here we go. Details. Alice Wake, Mr. Wake's wife, was found during the Bureau investigation. She was interviewed and evaluated. She showed signs of severe mental trauma in the form of redacted memory loss. Yeah, we heard about some of this in Alan Wake too. Um, with the Bureau and stuff. Uh, she, she was later directed to treatment. It was concluded that she had been trapped in threshold during its manifestation. Notable individuals still missing after the Bright, the Bright Falls event are FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale and Dr. Emil Hartman. Refer to the creator's dilemma and the file, re the Cauldron Lake Lodge. So cool. Uh, Bureau researchers believe this event was the result of a forceful perception of subjective reality, stemming from Mr. Wake. Yeah. That makes sense. Overlapping on our own. Uh, Wake has been flagged as, as a potential para-utilitarian. See Prime Candidate Program for more details. So he was like, he's, he's like a potential future director. Huh. In 2011, a book by Clay Stewart titled The Alan Wake Files was published by Roundabout Press. That's a terrible title. Sorry to whoever came up with that, but I hate that title. Um, New York and Olympia. Agents interviewed Clay Stewart and suspected minor para-utilitarian sensitivity. He was placed under indefinite surveillance. Notes, a monitoring station was established at Cauldron Lake to alert the Bureau of any future activity. Yeah, yeah, it sure was, and I hate it because it's fucking loud. But yeah, that is very true. This is so cool. I love it. Oh God. Remote thought. Isn't that one of those I need? So that's good. Oh god. Okay. Right, good. Um, let's go into close cases first, I feel like. I was like, is that a clown? But no, that's the thing from- Oh, I don't like that. I don't- Oh no, it's a TV. Okay, so it's just an episode. But that is still scary. Oh, Bright Falls Summary. Okay. Um, same stuff there. Uh, event Summary. An unconfirmed threshold manifestation at Cauldron Lake, Washington resulted in a fictional story written by the author Alan Wake, creating an AWE in which reality was altered to match that of the story, though only locally and for a limited time. Event response. Mr. Kirkland, head of investigations, was alerted on September 13th, 2010 by ex-bureau agent Frank Breaker. Frank Breaker? As in Sarah and Tim Breaker? Did we ever meet Frank Breaker? Maybe we, maybe that's a character in the first Zombie we came. But obviously we have Sarah Breaker and Tim Breaker. So who's Frank Breaker? Um, uh, C redacted that an AWE event was taking place in Bright Falls, Washington. Refer to events investigated in 1970, 1976, 1978. Breaker had received a call from Barry Wheeler. Alan Wake's literally, literally, uh, Alan Wake's literary agent on behalf of Breaker's daughter. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> Breaker's daughter, Sarah, who is the current sheriff of Bright Falls. A bureau field team arrives at the site two days later, only to confirm that the event was over. Interviews were conducted, refer to the 1970 redacted Thomas Zane, 1976-1978 Odin Anderson, Tor Anderson. Alan Wake was believed to redacted instigator. Eyewitness reports highlight an old light switch, possible object of power? Yeah, that redacted missing. Wake was not found at the scene. Reports claim he dived into the lake, but no body was recovered in the search. Eee! Ha ha ha. So cool. But, um, was Frank Baker Breaker in the first game? I just want to check so I remember. No, when I look it up, all this comes up is like a, like a comic book character. 
well, like a, a picture from a comic book, I mean, for his face. So he doesn't appear. Hmm. That's cool. God. I feel like I'm not conscious enough for this to not be absolutely fucking horrifying. Uncle What's Mr. Wrong? Bones? The fuck? I did bad on my clairvoyance test. You can't ace every test, Meg. You see, everyone has different brains. And here I thought we all had the same brain. Some brains can talk to each other. We call this ESP. ESP. <laughs> Some brains can lift objects like a baseball. Me, me, Talk me! I can do that. Fly ball, eh, Meg? <laughs> no interruptions. The fuck is going on? So who cares if you fail your clairvoyance test? Maybe your brain can throw baseballs. Or talk to dead people. Or make friends blind. Once we know what your brains can do, we'll know what job to give you. And if your brains are just right, you'll get to sit in the big chair. <laughs> Jesus, that literally looks like the chair, the chair I'm sitting in right now. Like, actually, I like that is my chair. Big chair. What if I don't Wait, no, like that is literally my chair. chair. <laughs> Everyone wants the big chair, Meg. That's why we're all here. Use those brains to listen for once, or the only chair you'll get in is the one with straps. That is literally my chair. Also, that one was like really fucked up. Like, what is your problem? I mean, I no. Why would I want to do that? Think, game. Think. Why on earth would I ever want to do that? Um. But yeah, I think I was right about like something about this becoming like an object of power or AWE or something, and it fucks them up, and they make like the t like terrifying shit. Instead of just the normal stuff. A P6. I wish things had gone differently in ordinary for us. But wishing won't change things. Finding the projector will. Is this it? Oh my god. I think that's if I think that's maybe the 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 cage thing that was in like the center of the room where Dylan was. I think that's what that is. Ordinary. There's so much coming together in this one case. Uh, a new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's that's saying something. I, the boy, Dylan Faden, prime candidate six, and the sister as well. Well, once we catch up with her, but the, the boy had so much potential. We're talking Northmore level readings here. And, and I don't want to invoke his name, but it's completely different circumstances here. It's remarkable. Oh. There was an incident. Yes. Thank you. 
Oh. We can keep standing up. It's fine. <laughs> we lost a valuable member of our team, yes. Who? It, uh, Northmore? Tillinda has so much. Um. But he's, he, he's just a kid. I, I'll take the blame. I mean, you should take the blame. He, he needs some slack. I mean, boys will be boys. Ew, don't say that. He's exceptional and under a lot of stress. And, like, Robert has been kidnapped. Killed. It's an unfortunate accident. That's all. Marshall needs to realize this. Marshall, what, what is she we'll doing? This work. We'll make this work. What was that a flash up at the end? Let's watch that, just like we always do with them. Uh, the the Doctor Darling stuff. Hold on. Ordinary. There's so much coming together in this one case. A new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's that's saying something. And the boy, Dylan Faden, prime candidate six, and the sister as well. Well, once we catch up with her, but the the boy, that's so much potential. We're talking Northmore level readings here, and and I don't want to invoke his name, but it's completely different circumstances here. There was an incident. Yes. We lost a valuable member of our team, yes. Don't look at me like that. Excessive force. Dylan has so much. But he's, he, he's just a kid. Like, I'll take the blame. Honestly, I think uh, Dylan would be justified in killing Almost every single one of you, to be honest. He's exceptional and under a lot of stress. So you kidnapped him, so, yeah. Roberts got killed. Roberts. Do it's I know who that is? accident, that's all. Marshall needs to realize this. So what did Marshall do? Like, what is? Uh, we will make this work. Like, like we'll obviously she had a problem work. with something. But wait, what happened to the rest of it? Did I did I just like not notice it? Like, no, like the the last bit of it isn't in it. Because there was like. First of all, he made the annoying boys will be boys comment, but then there was also like a flash of red at the end. But that entire bit at the end there is is not on it. That's weird. That's weird. It's really weird. Dylan Faden transcript. Okay. <clears throat> Transcript of conversation. Subject Dylan Faden for review by Dr. Darling. Confidential. Note. Subject was alone during this outburst. Okay, Dylan Faden at um, 5.52 p.m. You again. I thought I told you to leave me alone. Uh, why are you showing me this? I can't do anything. Can't you see where I am? Why don't you help me get the fuck out of here? You always show me things I can't do anything about. Uh, is it talking to Polaris? Stop showing me her. I don't care anymore. I don't care about you. You both left me here to rot. Yeah, it's Polaris. Okay, here we go. Fuck, f fuck off, you bitch. I will dig out my own brains if it means getting rid of you. I don't want you here. Get the fucking message. Subject repeated the phrase, fuck off, numerous times before being sedated at... Um, 5.53 p.m. Damn. 
so why did he? Well, you both left me here to rot. Like, he thought they ab abandoned him, and that's why. B6 victim autopsy, Roberts. Compiled by Redacted, by order of Redacted, okay. Uh, case number agent killed during Redacted involving Redacted codename P6. Autopsy findings. Uh, one, blunt force injuries of the head and neck. Two, excessive trauma of the ab abdominal region. A, lacerations and contusions of the upper and lower torso. B, fracture of the spinal cord between the L1 and L2 vertebrae. C. Avulsion fracture of the third through tenth ribs left and right. Three. Blunt force injuries of the extremities. A. Abrasions, lacerations, and contusions of the extremities. B. Dislocation of left and right elbow. C. Dislocation of left and right knee. Conclusion. After examination, it was determined that the cause of death was internal bleeding that occurred when the redacted was contorted through his redacted. <laughs> Jesus. No P7, because isn't P7 Jesse? Is this what Dylan wanted yep. me to see? It Here doesn't we matter. We need to find that projector. It definitely does matter, but I get it. Ooh. Last scene in this model shot. And I guess they have must have like incredible cameras. Like taking this from like five five miles away and just looks this good. Um. <laughs> I don't know this is a little silly, but um, she said she was on the run, right? So she's like sleeping on a bench. Because I guess I mean they were hunting her, the FBC were hunting her, so. My first outfit, candidate P7. Yes! Okay, I'm so excited. I'm gonna. As soon as I get to the control point, I'm going back to Central Executive and putting on that costume. That's finally. I'm so surprised I haven't found any yet. Like, that's the first one. All the times I felt paranoid, I was right. The Bureau could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me. That's interesting though because it seemed like they were they were hunting for her like they wanted to find her and get her to here But they just watched her instead I don't know maybe they just want to see what she would do like maybe they wanted to get her to go here With her free will like, I guess I guess so Jesse faded movement tracking uh, yeah, P7. Uh, are you eastward movement cause of, for concern? Uh, September 24th, 2019. Well, that, that's this year in the game, right? Because this came out in 2019. Uh, departs Cheyenne, Wyoming, I think. Um, arrives in Sydney. Uh, I don't know what any stands for. Departs Sydney on September 25th. September 26th, arrives in... I, I generally do not know how that's pronounced. Uh, September 30th, departs from that place. Uh, October 1st, arrives in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, October 8th, departs Chicago, Illinois. Uh, arrives in South Bend, Indiana. Uh, October 11th, departs South Bend. Uh, arrives in Cleveland, Ohio. October 19th, departs Cleveland, Ohio. October 20th, arrives in Bloomsburg. Uh, October 29th, departs Bloomsburg and arrives in New York City. Cool. This is such a nice picture. Oh. We used to play there all the time. Oh. Me and Dylan and other kids as well. We loved it. This time, I remember, was different. We found a way in, deeper into it, like it had shifted. 
we went inside and that's where we found the slide projector. A dump is a place for lost things, things that have been thrown away. Did you ever feel that way when you were growing up, Jesse? I feel like I recognize what? that voice. No. Yes, but that has nothing to do with- Was there a slide projector at your home when you were small? No. <laughs> Those were before your time, I suppose. But your family did look at photos together, maybe. In one form or the other? Maybe. Hmm. When was this? Can you remember? At parties? Barbecues? How did it make you feel? Did your parents ever show pictures that embarrassed you? Was alcohol ever involved at these parties? Did your parents drink? Did that make you uncomfortable? No! That's just stupid! Come on! That has nothing to do with this. Nothing. This light projector, let me ask you this. As a child, did you ever fantasize about worlds inside pictures? Inside a painting? You know, stepping into a painting, into a hidden world, the poster escaping on the wall. and finding adventure there, away from your parents. I don't... <sighs> when was this? Where's this from? I don't think so. I don't remember. Maybe. I don't know. Like, what, what, what was that? What, what was that from? We used to play there. I mean, therapy, but like... Also, that psychiatrist actor was definitely British. It slipped through a few times. There was one moment where, like, literally just full on a British accent. <laughs> but, huh. Transit corridor south. Oh damn, yeah. Whole new area. Isn't this how I got in? Or... Well, no. Oh, no. Okay, here. Transit corridor. I studied what happened in ordinary here. Yeah. That's the place to start looking. Uh, transit corridor, turntable, ordinary AWE, prime candidate program. The fact that ordinary AWE has its own, like, actual official section is wild. But I guess it makes sense if they have Dylan here. That they would do that. so many close calls this episode like being really really close to, to dying but making it through anyway which is good uh, work chat dead dog okay um i see your creepy teeth delivery and raise you a dead dog yeah like a straight up diseased dog had a collar on it and everything it had been rotting in that box since they packed it up. Go ahead and imagine how that smelled. So don't go whining to me. I wish I got to watch a parade of human teeth. 
the fuck are they talking about? Ugh, what? What fucking teeth? Like someone got a delivery of teeth? Is that what it is about? That's fucking weird. on this side then, if that's what that is. Wait, did I go? Yeah, I did. I read on the ground. Like, this prime candidate. Uh. Oh my god. Fuck you, dude. That's like not okay, actually. Actually, you're my biggest enemy, and I hate you. Like, a lot. Um, hmm. Like, where does this... Trans corridor, like... Hmm. I don't know, should I go there first? Let's see. Just... Dylan and I were both prime candidates. Experiments. Mm-hmm. You're... It's fucked. Oh, it's just like downstairs, but... So then, what does... Sorry, I need to see what the other door goes to then. Just in case it like goes to a little room just with like oh, some reading stuff or something. <laughs> Don't respawn. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, good thing. Uh, Willow AWE Shipping Manifest, compiled by David Lindquist, Operations Assistant, by order of NA. Uh, shipping Manifest, Willow AWE, inven Inventory List of Recorded Materials, A Hollow Sphere, Stone-like Material, Vitrified Soil, Redacted Pieces of Various Sizes and Colors, Animal Carcass, Possibly Canine, A Rusted Metal Bucket, Leather wallet, aged shotgun cartridge, all materials to go to the investigation sector for for, for further analysis. That reminds me, um, when I was younger, I I thought that canine like was was cats because you know it has a C A in it and it's like animals. Like I thought canine meant cat. It took me like a really long time to realize that no, that's dogs. And cats are felines, but I mean, I feel like it makes sense that I would come to that conclusion because of the first two letters. But I think I also like knew that feline was cats, but I just thought, I just thought there were multiple words for uh, for cats. And like, I I never had like an obsession with dogs. Like, dogs are are cute, uh, but I never like had an obsession with dogs. So, therefore, I never. I didn't know for a really long time that canine meant dog. <laughs> but I obviously knew that feline meant cats because I love cats so much. Okay, let's, let's see if we can do this without dying because we haven't gotten a control point. That was so easy, I didn't even get hit once. <laughs> Yay! Love when things are easy. What's this? I mean, what what is this? Where does this go? Right? I 
guess nowhere. Unless... No. Okay. Oh. Cool. We had location location discovered and again, they put a point. Nice. Ability points. That's what I like to see. <laughs> What's this? Typewritten page supplement. Uh, typewritten page AI 83KE. Acquisition date August 27th, 2019. Demo location Panopticon floor 5, unit 6. Uh, background. The page was discovered in an instance of the Ocean View Motel and Casino that was linked to the investigation sector. Have I been to the investigation sector? Can I even go there? I, like, it doesn't sound familiar. I didn't say it last a few moments ago when I read it, but now I'm seeing it again, so I'm mentioning it. Have, have we gone there? I don't, I don't recall. Uh, the page had been pushed into the motel's corridor from under the door with the symbol of a spiral. Oh, typewritten page from the spiral. Oh, yeah, because... Alan Wake, like, yeah, that's, yeah, that's cool. Redacted. Appendix, text transcribed from the item. For 10 years, I've tried to write my escape, only sinking deeper. I used to know where fiction ends and reality begin. Oh, wait, no, this is Alan, hold on. <coughs> For 10 years, I've tried to write my escape, only sinking deeper. I used to know where fiction ends and reality begins. Here, they're all the same. It's a hideous trap. My every thought made real. Fear. Desire. How can I ever know for sure I've escaped and not just lost my own fantasy of it? Lost in my own fantasy of it. That thought alone can drive you mad. The identifiable words in the scratched out portion. Falls. Bright falls? Haunting. Wake. Alan wake? Light switch. Ocean. Too late. And the final sentence. You've been warned. Mm -mm -mm. I wonder if that's like an actual page from Alan Week 2 that I just, like, I'm not remembering right now because I haven't, it's been a few months. That would be cool if it is. That's so cool. I love that. Anything else like that? Or was it just that one? <sighs> NYC Subway. Oh, there's a uh, control point right there, though. Sterling AWE Ordinary AWE Ordinary Dump Site. <sighs> Obviously, get the control point first, cleanse it, so that I don't have to go all the way back to the last one. We're going back home. Oof. Of course we are. Oh yeah, we're gonna get it to see. Started there, and it's their home. Never gone away. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Damn, I can't get any of the normal ones. Well, I can get launch basic enemies when their health is low. I mean, I should get that, but honestly, I don't want to get that right now. Shield strength, I can get. Um, siege duration. Probably, yeah, because I feel like they die really fast. But also, levitation. Well, I feel like that's fine. Ground slam. Oh, yeah, I always forget about ground slam. I really need to remember that, but... I think siege duration should be the one I get right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. They don't... Okay, I can upgrade peers, but I... Wait, okay, any remote thought, astral... I have enough astral blip. On top, potentially, I only have one, but remote thought... Uh. Oh, and this one doesn't take anything of the same except for source, so I can get this one. But wait, I have 26,000 and I need 20,000. 
this one costs 24,000, so I would only have 2,000 left. But is, I'm so far off with remote thought. I feel like by the time I get 15 of those, I'll have gotten back the source. So let me just upgrade my peers. Let's do that. Um, When I have everything for charge to be upgraded, I just need more source. Shadow projectile. What do we have? We have the zoom boost. A rate of fire, probably, yeah. Yeah, because it like takes, it's, it's really slow to charge. I don't know if that would actually make that faster. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Reload speed. Energy gain from headshots. Plus while levitating. Headshot damage. Damage while aiming. Damage after kills. Okay, I think rate of fire. See if that helps much. Okay, which that makes me want to switch to it just to see. Let me just check the entire like downstairs here. I'm not gonna go forward and then I'm gonna go back to Central Executive, look at the outfit and put it on if I like it. And then I'm gonna go back here and end the part and go there next part. <laughs> Sorry, that was like, I feel like that was a complicated way of saying that. A convoluted way of saying that. Oh wait, does this go to like a big area? Cause it's like the ordinary dump. What is that? Ooh. <laughs> Wait, why did you freak out there? It's like I have, yeah. No, it's fine. Just have it for a second, because I have like the, the pill thing. I should be fine. Interesting. What is the point of this? Because it's like it's the ordinary dump, it says, but there's nothing here except for those things. Which that's interesting. Like I've noticed, the mold rooms tend to have really nothing in them except for just some material stuff. I don't really know why. Can I see better in here now that? Um, yeah, yeah. Now that there's light. I mean, it doesn't matter, but I was just curious. Get up there. I'm just curious if I can. No, you can't. Ooh, damn. Okay. Okay, let's see. let's see this. Uh oh, but let's also check if we can see the investigations. Oh, Panoticon, there's a whole question mark over here. Hmm. I mean, I want to go there eventually anyway for um, the uh, objects I'm looking for. But, uh, yeah, containment, research, maintenance. No, there's no investigation we've been to, it seems like. 
But okay, let's go to central executive. Maybe they'll have something to say too, I don't know. Well, probably not. Well, maybe because I found uh, the stuff they had on me. But let's see, let's see. Oh. Well. Hmm. It's cool. I don't know if I want to... I'll talk to them in it, but I think I'm going to switch we swap out of it. Now. We're going to swap out of it after, because... Hey, I put extra security <laughs> on your brother. No offense, but that dude is the Sith. No offense. It's the first time I skipped through past I have dialogue, because I, I, I can only hear You're him say that busy, you know? so many times. Hello again. Hello. Wait, did you add a third one? Does that mean you have notes? No. Okay. Do you have anything to say? Do you have my clothes? Hi, Jesse. Hi. Okay. I should get going. Don't let me hold you up. It's a cool outfit, but I'm not wearing this. Actually, wearing this on my, you know, first playthrough. So let's hope I find something nicer soon. <laughs> it's cool. Found my first outfit. This was uh, sort of like a, a bit of a chill episode, I feel like. Um, we kind of just explored a new area, read a bunch, um, watched uh, watched some videos, listened to some recordings, stuff like that. And um, yeah, we obviously found out more about P6 and P7, that, that P7 exists and that it's us. Which obviously that, uh, that I think completely like this proves my little theory that Jesse is Dylan. Like, they're the same. I mean, it could still be a thing. We never know with Alan, with Alan Wake universe. Um, but I, I think I, like, I already, like, figured figured that that wasn't a thing, because, like, I mainly thought that it, think that it's more of, a, like, an allegory, like I said last part, than, you know, literally, like, um, Jesse is, like, actually not real i don't know we'll find we'll find out more i'm sure um but we also found out that they were really really following her and stalking her because they wanted her to also be a candidate for director and she fell right into her laps here and i wonder how much emily knows about all of that because i feel like she knows a lot more she might know a lot more than she's letting on. But then again, maybe not. Maybe she's completely in the dark about uh, Jesse and Dylan. That, like, that's entirely possible. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what all this ordinary stuff is about. And it seems like, from what Jesse said here, that um, we're going home. We're going to ordinary for a little bit, maybe seeing Jesse and Dylan's home where they grew up or something. Which, if if that's the case, that would be really cool. Like, I'm looking forward to seeing what this is about here. Um, so I, I, I think the next part is probably going to be a lot less calm, but I, mean, I can't believe I didn't die a single time because I was so close to death so many times. Like I, I'm, 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 like, I did surprisingly well here, but again, the enemies are definitely easier here because I, I've been going, moving too slowly for, through the main stuff, I think, and so I'm like, constantly facing enemies that are way tougher than they should be, than I should be facing. Um, yeah, have you guys enjoyed part, oh, what part is it? It's part 23 of Control. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Uh, leave me a comment if you have any thoughts, questions, or observations. And um, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Yeah, see you in my next one. <laughs> Bye.